open. All right. Okay, fast, honey. <laughs> wow, she's dead, Lord. Now I won't touch you. He, did you just remember how to uh, uh, hit the, the record button on your own? Am I? Am I yeah, sick? remarkably. I think I'm sorry. There. That's you, Jay. Hey, Luke. Ah. Hey, it's the hey, one of me. Hey, hey, Joe. Let's, uh, let's get the party started then. Well, today is going to be kneeling, but we can uh, start mm -hmm. off with a the rolling suite, and then we'll go in to um, some pretzels. And you know, um, Brett Jones, of whom recently uh, hosted a session, that is the guy who the pretzel is named after. Mm. That is the Brett in pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 It's nice, that Amber. So was that. Hey, I like that, Jules. That was good. Okay. Like the pause. A little bit of throwing yourself into it, Jules, but, you know... Okay. It, uh, the pause shows awareness, and that's it's a great place to start. Pause again, and I'm just straightening it out. Excellent, mate. Well done. Yeah. Right, then, Gary, let's see what you got, mate. Okay. <coughs> Keep reaching out with that arm, guys. Don't anchor with the hand and then finish with the hips. Keep reaching out with the with the arm. Turn the head. Turn the head. Excellent. And you can see how your legs are crossed there. That shows you that the hips were totally turned off. Now keep pushing with the hand. Yes. Perfect, mate. Well done. That looked really nice, Kay. So was that. Was nice, Tom. Yeah, well done. Gallery now. That's nice, Linda. And then you can also rock in that position if you're nice and controlled. That's it. Reach with that arm, TJ. Reach. Yes. Excellent, mate. And turn that head, look over that shoulder. Yes. Well done, mate. It's the first time I've seen you do that without um, using the, the sort of Sphinx setup. Well done. Always nice to see progress, mate. Excellent. 
And opposite leg to um to opposite hand, Gary, if you if you're trying to go into the um the pretzel, that's it. No, and so that right hand gets hold of the, the left leg. No. That's better. So maybe start on your side again. There you go. And then with the left hand, bring the right knee up. So lift the right knee. That's it. And then you can pull that up there. Well done. That looks great, Kay. Well done. Nice position. <laughs> I'm quite sure what I'm looking at there, Tink. You can maybe do it that camera on a um on a landscape instead of portrait, I think. All right. Ah. Yeah. Has it has it got screen lock on? <laughs> it looked like somebody just switched gravity on. Oh. Oh. Nice girls. You made it. Hello. <laughs> You all right, Bob? Getting into a pretzel there, are you, mate? That's nice. I'm trying to look over that right shoulder, Rob. No, Gloucester right. That's it. That's bang on that, Tom. Nice with the breathing. I mean, try to possibly looking over that left shoulder might lower the left shoulder a bit and get you more thoracic rotation. Give him, yeah, that, that's dropping a little. Because that's if you if you look at the uh, the video later, Tom, you might see that. That left shoulder is um is up high because that's w where we want the rotation is um thoracic. So if we can, we want that that shoulder down. So maybe actually you could roll roll a little to the left as and sort of bring that the left knee up, or rather bring the left knee to the ceiling. So so turn that way. See if you can get that shoulder down, which you are a bit there. That's it. Now, see if you can use gravity to keep that shoulder down and then lower the knee a little. So you're getting way more thoracic rotation there than you were before. I don't know how that feels to you. Like a tight spring. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's good, that mate. Very nice, Sam. Man. Good to see. Right. You've got a good alignment. You've got good good alignment with that, um, with the leg, with the knee inflection and the spine or the hip and extension. That looks really good. Is that better? Okay. All righty then. Let's look in for the next one. Um, we'll move to a um, crawl. Um, what I would like to see from most of you is crawl. Foot goes outside the hand into the ball with kneeling, half kneeling position. And then on an in-breath, come on. 
And we can go with the arms raised or down by our side, depending on how stable we are. Turn, look over the leading leg. Back to the middle. Turn, look to the other side. Now, if forward half kneeling is too much of a challenge, you can go from quadruped. Breathe in, come up into open half kneeling. Do the same again. Turn over the knee. Turn the other way. And try to try to keep this knee back. Because what I can do now, I, I'm, at, I'm at my the uh, the extremis of my thoracic rotation. However, if I bring the knee down, that allows the hips to turn, but that's not what I'm after. I'm after the, the rotation up here. And then if either of those kneeling positions are too much of a challenge, you can go from quadruped into a squat. Top of the list is Rob York. Hmm. More talk about Archie Gray coming to Liverpool today, mate. Hmm. Oh, you're, you're on mute, fortunately. Can <laughs> hmm. hmm. you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. He's not. He's, he's got Frey written in his name. <laughs> I think it all depends on whether you come up. If you don't come up, I think he's coming to Anfield. No. He's a good player. I forgot more too. That's it. Foot, foot. Try to bring that foot forward outside the hand, Rob. Because you see, you're a little short on that forward, on that forward uh, half kneeling position. So, if you're going to get the foot outside, that means you need that good quadruped position. Because, like everything else, the quality of your current position dictates the quality of the the one to follow. So, make sure the hands are underneath the shoulders, not wide of it, and then that foot. Can come forward all the way outside. Excellent, mate. Big breath in, go up. Turn over the knee. Integrate your breathing, mate. Integrate your breathing. At any point the breathing goes, just reset. That's it. Come down, do it the other side. Breathe, breathe. Because what you've got to do, you've got to make sure you've got one full, like a, a stability post going right up your spine from that down leg. You've got to feel the weight over that down knee. Excellent, mate. Much better. And come down under control. That's it. Well done, Rob. Tell you what, mate, I'm sure you must have noticed it. Your proficiency or competence in the forward half kneeling stance has come on just so much, you know? <laughs> and that's that's one of the one of the key barriers to knock down for getting to walking is yes. being able to stabilize in that asymmetrical hip position. <laughs> Looking great, mate. Thank you. Tom, you're next, buddy. In fact, I think. Go on, carry on. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you uh, an extra little uh, movement morsel. Um, and then if you go down and do the other side, just so we we balance you out, and then get yourself a kettlebell. Your lightest one to start. And you can do the same, Linda, while you're waiting. 
<laughs> and now uh, forward half kneeling halo, Tom. So if you bring bring one leg forward in the, in the same manner as before, that's it. And grab the kettlebell by the horns as if, as if for a goblet squat. So that's it. Pull it into the chest and come up. And then now you've got to put it behind your head. And in fact, are you familiar with the halo, Tom? Or shall I just... Uh, no. Right, I'll do a quick demonstration just while you maintain that position. I'll do wonders for your stability. Kettlebells. Right. So you go from there or from there and you will bring it round and down to the chest. Back, round to the chest the other way. Now you try to keep the kettlebell below the ears at all time. Mm. So from that position, if you look at the arms and elbows, and then you basically swap that position and then bring the other side down. <coughs> One side comes up and frames the head. Other side frames the head, comes down, and then come back the other way. But I want to just doing that in a tall kneeling position is uh, is a challenge, as Rob's doing now, which is good. Okay. But I want to see you do it in a. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's it. And then go back the other way. But keep it. Keep it low. So you, you've got to frame your head. So get that, sit, bring it round the back. Frame the head with the other arm. That's it. And then round to the front. Excellent, Tom. Bang on. Looks really stable, mate. Go back the other way. Yeah, that's what you mean. Uh, so go back over your left shoulder now. Yeah, so, so that's right. You you rotated. Yeah, that's it. Frame the head. Frame the head. Back round to the front. Now, you don't look challenged at all there, apart from maybe with a bit of shoulder mobility. <laughs> but uh, so what your next step is, mate, is narrow your stance a little. Bring that right. That's it. Now, uh, that's it there. I'll try that there now. And you'll feel the, the stability challenge change. I would, yeah, there you go. And it's such a progressive thing, this made for promoting core stability in the uh, asymmetrical hip. That's it. So you, you want to try to keep the kettlebell below the ears if you can. It's a, it's a good ask for the shoulder mobility, although that's something that's good. Perfect, mate. Bang on. Bring it to the, yeah. Spot on. Swap legs, mate. Thank you. That's really good, that. Really impressed with that, Tom. Mm -hmm. That's it. Start from the front, bring it to your chest. That's it. Remember, try and keep it below the ears, though. Mm. That's it. Excellent. Hey, that, that's where all the learning is, mate. Put it behind the ears, though. It's a halo, not mm. a hula hoop. <laughs> Excellent. Mm. Tom, bang on. Really impressed, mate. Well done. Mm. Now, mm. I'm back. All Can right. You do the um, forward half kneeling from uh, Crawl. Will your knee allow you to do that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'll get far away from this couch, but my safety. Well, yeah, you, you can you can get. Uh -huh. big, well, you you can get um you can go parallel with the couch. Have the couch by your side, just in case okay. there's any emergencies. Oh. My ears are still good right now, but not now anymore. Yeah. You're by the side of the couch. Um, uh, That's it. 
That's it. Now remember, big breath in and treat it like a squat. So your hip <laughs> ending up. Tuck that toe under, left toes under. Breathe, Amber. Fill that, fill that abdomen with air. Get your breathing under control. That was all pretty good. Challenge, but successful. Yeah, I got to have it. Yeah. And what I would say, Amber, is... What? Is, is if you're you're getting challenged, get a hand on the sofa and get your breathing under control. <laughs> then once it's what? under control, only then try to oh. go back into a freestanding. Don't oh. try to try to regain control while you're in a battle. Get out the battle. Get your breathing. Reset. Oh. Oh. Try it on the other side. Yeah. That's great, really? Amber. Like, that was yeah. really good. Yeah, that was really yeah. good. That was good, Amber. Huh? <laughs> oh, I still watched it. Okay. okay. Your next one. Well. Okay. On the top of the block. You don't have that show in America, do you? Or in... Oh, never mind. You can talk. Right, Kelly. Oh, good save. Yeah. Breathe, breathe, Kay. Good idea. Yeah, it looks like you might be a little forward of that back knee. Whereas you want to be at everything directly over it, like a <laughs> post. That's it. Brilliant. For the other knee, can I just put this one forward? Because <laughs> I can't do the quad. Yeah, yeah, thing. yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, that's almost like showing off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a really impressive. This side's a lot more stable. Uh, but both of them are the magic. As soon as you're getting stacked up over that knee and it's just <laughs> rotating around there, you know, the, the physics and the structure is so much more dependable in um and, and sort of less vulnerable in that position. Great stuff, Kay. Once yet two ones Adam Bewegungs champion. You always speak German with me nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Spiegel Glad Finkelman. <laughs> Good 
Great. <coughs> now it's really important that you feel all of this weight stacked over that down knee. Look forward, look ahead. Linda, that's it. Look at that shoulder. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh. Mm -hmm. It does make a lot. Of, it makes a lot of sound when she look but that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that that that's mm -hmm. great as long as if it, it you know it doesn't feel you know negative. No, it's no pain. Quick study. That that was mm -hmm. really impressive. That Linda. Mm -hmm. As I was saying to to uh, to Tom, I mean, I I don't want to over challenge the shoulder with the stability stuff, but what you can do to progress at that is just start narrowing the stance. I this remember, side I can. Yeah, because your your weight is actually now shifting between the legs as opposed to over the knee. Yeah, but my left side is not that stable. Well, control it from the glute. The glute is where the control is going to come from. And keep it over that knee. Oh, and that, yeah. that's what you want to visualize. Keep it over the knee. Ooh. No rush. Integrate your breathing. Feel all of the weight coming down through that knee because you're going to get tall over it. And that's, Sorry, right. that's it. That's cool. More than enough. Really impressive, that Linda. <coughs> really impressive. Gary, you're next up, mate. Are you going to go to a squat? I think would probably be best for yourself. Quadruped to squat. Make sure the area behind you is clear. That is. Great setup, mate. Really good. Yes. Keep the weight over the hands. Weight over the hands. Yes. Wow. Good save, mate. Good save. Now make sure those heels are down. You can feel feel the weight and stability of the position. And then you can go into your namaste pose. Remember the breathing. Big full breaths into the abdomen. If you look how reliably you get into that position now, mate, that yeah. outstanding, massive progress. Yeah. And a quick progress. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, yeah. mate. No. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure if one of the heels was off the mat, and if there was a little, even if it was only just a little bit of gradient, that that would have worked against you. Yeah. Well, looked a great position, mate. Oh, yeah. Well done, Jules. You're next yeah. up, buddy. Nice guy. <laughs> I noticed she kept that kettlebell out of arm's reach, like. <laughs> Good, mate. Watch, watch that front knee. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it. Well, one of the things is get that foot pointing forward. If the foot's yeah. pointing in, that's it. Just straight forward, right? Yeah, yeah, bang on. And And when you turn to your right... Don't don't try to push the envelope. Just go to where you feel you've been given, and then that's it. Because otherwise, that'll pull the knee in. Yeah. You'll start to turn at the hip. Hold the position really well outside of that turn to the right, mate. That's, mm. that's good to see. Try to get or not? Uh, your, your choice, mate. If you feel uh -huh. you're ready for that. Yeah. 
Well, I tried it a minute ago. It seemed right. Yep. It's only it's two kilogram. It looks tiny, doesn't it? <laughs> it's amazing. It looks a bit ladylike. Yeah, two kilogram. It's quite deceiving. <laughs> Like a hobbit kettlebell in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some paint and write a big two on it or something. <laughs> 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 What that kettlebell is doing when you've got it up there, even if, it, if it's two kilograms, mm. it's moving your center of gravity. Yeah. E even if the torso is remaining in the same place and that the posture is the same, the center of gravity is going round in a circle. So your core has got to be able to cope with that. And well, your core has got to be able to understand it. Don't let that knee come in, mate. Yeah. Let that once, once again, what would probably aid you if you had someone um, you could train with? Yeah. Somebody actually trying to push the knee in. Oh, uh, yeah. Not hold it out. Try to push it in. That magnifies the mistake. Mm. And the urology recognizes it. You know? So push it like if it's the right, then. Yeah. Yeah. It's what you call feed the mistake. Yeah. 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 That was very good, mate. Thank you. Luke, let's see what you got, mate. Mm -hmm. Big breath in. Big breath in. Control the breathing. That's nice and stable, Luke. And try to rotate the shoulders as well as the head. I see. See, there's the there's the difference it makes. So make sure you you get stacked tall over the knee, over the down knee. You don't want to be in between the feet. You want to be just over that down knee. Yes. Yes, nice, mate. There you go. Really nice, Luke. Well done. Let's see the other side. Mm -hmm. That looked great. Mm -hmm. Big breath in. Get stacked over that knee. Now, now, Luke, just pause there. Just pause there, mate. I want you to try to, to go up again with that left leg down. I don't want you to do the whole thing. I just want to try to get the, the bottom leg in line with the spine. I, that's a, a lot better, although you, you still have got a little bit of a of the leg leaning in and then the torso leaning out. You need to get the the outside of your left hip needs to be over the outside of your, your left knee. So shift the hip out, not your shoulder. <laughs> it's good that you're stable there though, mate. Well done, Luke. Well done. Thank you. Good job, mate. Thank you. Think about your back on portrait.
<laughs> yep. I switch it because I'll be at the jujitsu school and they'll be putting you around. Oh, back. All right. <laughs> What was the shoulder wiggle for before, I? Like? What? What was the shoulder wiggle for? Oh, um, my, I'll push my back, but I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Big breath in. Get what? stable before you turn. Excellent. Thanks, that's brilliant. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, thanks. That that was that was proper impressive. Oh, thank you very much, Terry. Mm -hmm. Let's do the other time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you breathing? That's it. Get tall over that down knee and breathe. Hold on. That's fine. Ooh. All you want to do is stay there. That's fine, Tim. No, I'm good. I, I was trying to go up. But... Hmm. All right. Let's do this again. Oh, wow. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Knew there was a reason I pressed record. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I felt like I didn't be cooked anywhere. <laughs> that was... You're in South Carolina, aren't you? Why have you got a bloody sweater on? It's cold day. My ass, yeah. it's cold. <laughs> it's cold now. <laughs> yeah, it's cold now, so. DJ, do you want to do a quadruped to squat, mate? Sure. And everyone else can get their uh, Indian clubs to hand. <laughs> Really good. I keep keep the weight over those hands. That's it. And that's set your feet nice there as well. Now keep the weight over the hands as you're moving back, mate. Just small steps with the hands. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Mm. Small steps with those hands, that's it. Don't get too narrow with the hands, mate. There you go. Focus on your breathing. Focus on your breathing. That's it. Keep the weight on the hands. Walk one in and lower those hips. That's it. Yes. A 
That's really good. I mean, I just wonder a little for next time mm -hmm. whether if the, your feet were a little wider apart, whether you would be able to get down into that squat position. That was nice and controlled coming out of it. Mm -hmm. That looks nice, mate. No rush, but walk those hands back. Make sure you're in a position to put your weight over them. That's it. Keep walking the hands. Don't let the hips get too far behind them. Great, TJ. Say good. Julie's there, so you can keep walking back with those hands. Great. Right. Nate, that's brilliant. Really good. Now just cycle your breath there, mate. Just cycle your breath. Just feel the position. And see if you can push those heels into the floor. That's it. Now lower the hips again. And then Julie's, Julie's behind you. So just see if you can lift those hands up. If you can open your right knee just a little bit more. Yep. Yep. That brings your right left. Now just look ahead. Head up and look ahead. Now just try and breathe in that position, mate. Just breathe in that position. That's great. Really good, mate. And just forward crawl out of it. Yes. Oh. Excellent, TJ. You can uh, get yourself set up for the golf swing. Don't worry, not going just yet. Rob is up next. Tall kneeling, Rob, and we're gonna do um, gonna do windmills first. <coughs> so bring your knees as close together as as, as you can whilst remaining successful, and the windmills. As opposed to the uh, rotations, Are you familiar with the windmills? No. Um, yeah, that's it. And uh, yes. Oh, excellent, mate. <laughs> Rob, that's brilliant. Great, Rob. And pause. And then go the other way if you can. That's it. Twist out and across the front. That's it. Go on. Cross them over. Cross them over across your front. That, that's it. Come round. Down your back. Twist in. Crossover. Yes. Mate, fantastic. Good. Bob, really, really good, mate. Mm. Have, a, have a rest. Okay. okay. Have you got your uh, got your flask? Yep. <laughs> so windmills both ways. Do it from tall kneeling. Oh my god, it's been so long since I did this. That's right. Yeah, well, that, that, that's fine. You just got to do the other way next. <laughs> that looks great, really smooth. Uh, the other way. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. Straighten the arm, come around there, and then twist behind the head. Yes, perfect. Mm. That's really good. That's okay. great, Kay. Yeah. Very smooth. Yeah, really smooth.
Mm. So smooth, you can now try that in open half kneeling. Okay, dog. Wow. Great stuff. It's really impressive how easily you just went into open half kneeling as well, especially with the control of that left leg. And then go do it the other way as well. <laughs> Wasn't that the way you just did? No? Well, I was just trying to work out. <laughs> that's the other way, right? Yeah, that's nice. That's mm -hmm. great, Ken. Really good. Really good. Yeah, you're right, Right then, Gary, what Indian clubs would you like to do, if any? Yeah. Uh, you want to pass on the clubs? That's no problem, mate. Um, I'll have a little think and I'll come back to you with something then instead. Jules, mm -hmm. next up. Nice, mate. That's really good, mate. Next step for you is to, you know, try to make the rotation go with gravity a bit more. Don't have to accelerate it. Just let gravity take the uh, the club when you come down. You want to go the other um, way? How, how would that? Right, yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll show you, mate. Yeah, so I'm stopping it. Yeah, you you uh, I'll 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 sort of I'll mm. talk to it now, mate. And you see how it picks up speed and goes through with gravity down there. Yeah. Just the loop coming through and doing it at the same sort of deliberate pace. Slow mo yeah. That's the bit. But if you and what can happen if people want to um speed up through that bit, you then come to a dead stop. This becomes a little bit more mechanical. Don't, don't sacrifice speed for speed in one phase of the movement for lack of fluidity in the other. But just try to sort of from there, just come out and round with gravity. And you can hand it over to gravity. And while, while gravity's <laughs> move, you can be thinking, you know, getting ahead of the game, a bit more relaxed movement thinking. Oops. Mm. A little bit of lollipop walking for you there, I think. And next is Linda. I saw your lollipop walking. I brought blood toes. <laughs> oh, um. Yeah. Okay. Now you can start. Okay. Now you can start. You get out of it. Okay. All right. So the one for you, Linda. If you just stay looking in, if you can, is at the moment. You're doing well. Obviously, you've got the uh, you've got the movement down. So come in here, and then you come in here, and then you're moving round. What I'd like to try and see you do is from here in one movement. You, you know, if you need to, you know, uh, have your pause just for sort of like recalibrate. Do it in the racked position. Then one movement. 
one movement. And then it's so much more easier to speed up once you've got <laughs> that movement. So from there, one movement to the rack. And see, so you've still got that little bit of a stutter. Yeah, my legs are So, so pause. Uh, yeah. So when, yeah. when next time you get it behind the head, just pause with it behind. So yeah. So now what you want to do, don't stop with the uh, arms straight. You take it out and round. Don't don't worry about what's coming next. It'll all just fit into place. Yes. Yeah. See. Yep. Brilliant. Just like that. <laughs> <What the? laughs> Rob York's dog doing the wall of death again. <laughs> All right. Well done, Linda. Very well done. TJ. Let's see that golf swing, buddy. That's nice. Really visual, visualize yourself playing a shot there as well. It will massively help. Watch Julie's knees, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm further away than it looks. That's great, mate. Okie doke. Let's go back to, to Gary. Do you want to try for this one then do, to do some squats, half squats? So you go from sitting on your ankles up to tall kneeling, which I will demonstrate for you. If that doesn't make any sense. You want to go from sat on your knees and you can do it with your knees. So you sat on your ankles, but with your knees at whatever width you, you like. Breath in as you go up. And then, once you've got comfortable and wide, you can bring them closer in. Come down. Nice, try and get tall. You want to get your weight over your knees. You don't want to be hanging off your quads, if you see what I mean. And I'll get your breathing. And get tall. It's all right, mate. I, this probably isn't isn't a good one for you. Although if you turn so you're facing the 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 sofa, you might be able to do it better because you you have a a little bit of a um of a movement floor where you like to to load your quads. So like when you're in the quadruped position you frequently put the, the hips too far back behind the knees. So try and get a little bit closer so that the hip isn't hinged. Whoop. Okay, 
Dig, crawl over to it, mate. It's the best rehab you can do is live in your rehab. Solving your movement problems with movement. Keep bringing those knees and that's it. Right. That's it. And get, yeah. So now you just want to get familiarity with the feeling of everything being stacked straight. So you can maybe bring your hands a little bit closer to you, as only as long as you feel safe and stable, so that you can get yourself straighter. That's it. And so get the feeling of all of that weight being stacked vertically. And just breathe in that position. That's brilliant, Gary. That's exactly the sort of practice you need to be doing. But when you do it, don't brace. Do it on an in-breath or do it on an out-breath. Don't do it holding your breath. That's it. And if you if you feel yourself losing control, replace the hands in a controlled fashion. That's really good, that, Gary. That's something which you should be practicing, mate. Definitely. Because it, it's, a, it's a bit of a compensation pattern, which is you know, snuck in quite early in the uh, in the foundations for you, and we don't want to build on it. All right, Luke, have you got your Perrier bottles? Or oh, actually, it's San Pellegrino, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Now, are you fam are you familiar with windmills? Nice. Bend at the elbows. So, Luke, just pause a second because you're, you're almost there with it. You just pause and look in. You come across great. That's fine. Come out to the crucifix. Once you're in the crucifix, bend the elbows. So the San Pellegrino down your back, elbows in, cross them over. Crucifix, down your back, elbows in, cross them over. Crucifix, down your back, elbows in, cross them over. Oh, stay. Go out into the crucifix. Pause. Pause there. Arete vu. See we play. Now bend the elbows. Keep the arms where they are, but bend the elbows. Now bend the elbows. No, you want the San Pellegrino behind your head. But bend the elbows. Bend the elbows. Put the bottles behind your head. Yes. Now elbows in. And cross over. Cross them over in front. That's it. Yes. Crucifix. Now bend the elbows behind the head. Yes. Elbows in. And cross over. Swing around to the crucifix. Elbows and behind the head. Yes. And cross over, but come through six o'clock. You've got to come through the six o'clock position. You can have a pause, have a pause and look in, mate. Have a pause and look in. No, look at me, mate. I will, because uh, you you're definitely getting there. Definitely getting there. So from here, behind the head, elbows in. And then when you cross over, you need to come down through six o'clock on the clock face. Bend the elbows in, 
and then straighten the arms. Through six o'clock, they stay straight until the crucifix, then they bend again. All right, so you start in that position. Straight the arms and cross them over. Crucifix. Behind the head. Elbows in. <coughs> Straight the arms and cross them over. Crucifix. Yeah. Or try, I'd say try it with just one arm, just with one arm. That's it. Now bring the elbow in. No. So behind the head. Now keep it behind the head, but bring the elbow to the front, elbow to the front. Bring it up. That's it. Now straighten the arm, cross it over the body. No, across the body, mate. Luke, have to, you'll have to look in again, Luke. I will show you with just one arm. So, Luke, let's see if I can put you on at the same time. Not as much of a year. There we go. So, with just one arm. Behind the head, elbow comes in. And then you straighten the arm across the body. Out into the crucifix. Bend the elbow. Elbow in. Straighten the arm across the body. Crucifix. Behind the head. Elbow comes in. Straighten it across the body. So... That's better. And then straighten the arm, straighten the arm. That's it. Keep moving it around. Crucifix. Yes. Behind the head. Yes. Elbow in. And then round to crucifix. Keep going to crucifix. That's it. Bend the elbow. And then straighten it across the body. That's it. Keep coming round. It's Essentially, just all about creating a circle. Circle with the arm and circle with the elbow. And rather than coming over your head, keep it to the side of your head. So... Behind the head and pause, 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 pause. And then just bring the elbow straight down. Don't bring, keep the, keep it on the, the, uh, the right side of your head. Nepad, a gauche, a dwat. So elbow down. No, no, Nepad, a gauche. Cheers, Steve. See you, Rob. Have a good night. Bye, Rob. Bye, everyone. Bye. Yeah, uh, Luke, I think you'll probably have to watch the video for that. You've almost got it, but you, you're bringing the club the wrong way around the head. I'll, I'll, if you if you look in, mate, I will, uh, I will show you what you're doing, Luke. Let me just see if I can see you here. Right, Luke. This is what you should be doing. Yeah. Now, this is what you're doing. You're coming round the head. You won't be able to do that with two clubs. What you need to do is come down the same side as the arm. 
So it's got to come down beneath your head. Never goes over the head. Behind, round the side, but never over. All righty. Let's have some rotating pendulums then. And Linda, Frau Spiegel, glad. I didn't know. Beste. Oh, bring that arm through the six o'clock position. Oh. Ah, ow. <laughs> Yes, well done. Sorry, I'm only thinking about the. Yeah, I, it, it's, <laughs> it's like getting out of your own way. Yeah. And what would we'll tell you what you can do, Linda, is, is get in that start position. And then have the first movement so that you're going to go through that six o'clock. And that will allow you to do it with gravity. No, other way. <laughs> the thing is behind my back. <laughs> See, that, that's what I mean. It's with, the, it's with the left arm where you get a little bit sticky coming through that six o'clock position. Yeah. So what I would do is get getting the. Uh, never noticed that I've got some attacks here with my left arm. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So the the way to try to address that, it, yeah, that's it. Go from that start position and the first movement. Just visualize it. Visualize it going sweeping all of the way through. And as it's the first movement, that's it. Well done. And breathe in, and out. In, yeah, and out. That's great, Linda. <coughs> Excellent. Well done. Fantastic. Imavada. All right, I'm here. Are you going to say yeah, anything? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Do I need to say anything? I say words. At least I. Well, where, where are you going? I do need to say something, don't I? Let's oh, what? Ten. I screamed. I screamed. You didn't even call me on the window. <laughs> but that's fine. I'll do the ice cream chips. <laughs> well, why didn't you say? I, I said, I've, have I done everyone? Um, no, you didn't. You know, and I've, I've learned anything. I from said, you haven't done me. I didn't hear you say that either because you missed me too. <laughs> yeah, you missed Tom too. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Right. I'm okay, windmills then. With, with Chelsea, windmills, and then we go to Tom. <laughs> but I did remember to press record. <laughs> That's nice, Tink. Other way? What? And the other way as well. Oh, fine. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, that was fine. Is that right? Yeah. Because your sweater was getting in the way. Oh. 
I'm getting comfy. Yeah. It's I'm all right, good thing. That was pretty good, though. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a small lot of room in here, so I keep banging my... It's fine. Yeah, you've got, um, got a few good rotations on it, though. Oh, well, that's good. I've got confused. Yeah. Like, I'm second guessing myself. I never did that. But you should go to Tom. Yeah. Tell you what, what's good, though, think if when you get fluent with them, that you should just focus on your, um, your tall kneeling posture. Just let the clubs mm -hmm. do their thing and your focus is getting tall and stable over your knees. Do that. That'll do you the uh, the world of good. Just as Tom's yeah. going to do exactly that now. I hope that. Tom didn't even say me a thing. He's like, you must be. He just, he was like, I'm done. <laughs> So I'm trying to get Zen here, Chelsea. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, you need a garden with some quotes. <laughs> if they all zinned out. That's great, that, Tom. Wow, Tom, that looks really Come the other good. way, Tom. Hmm. Tom, switch the other way. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's it. That's great, mate. Wow. Dang, you make it look so easy. Yeah. Mate, hey, that's spot on. That's bang on. The clubs? What's that? Have you heard when I bang the clubs? Yeah, At yeah. At least two yeah. or three times. <laughs> yeah. Mate, yeah. you can tell you've been putting in the hours with that, though, mate. That's really good. And uh, like so, we're going to finish off with... The pendulum rotations, which Linda has already very gracefully demonstrated. Next is Jules. <clears throat> That's nice, mate. You're going with gravity there. And the breathe in and out. In, out. Great, Jules. <coughs> well done. Thank you. <clears throat> TJ, do you want to try a windmill for us? No, no? that's cool. No. I'll, uh, I'll, shall I skip for yourself as well, Gary? Uh, Tall Nealon's nice, mate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. That's exactly what we want to see. Get I used see. to that feeling, yeah. guys. Get yeah. used to that feeling and visualize it. Remember the impact that had for Timor. Remember that feeling and visualize it. Well done. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Am I doing pension? Yes, you are indeed. Okay, cool. Oh. Yeah. Okay, you get you get a nice bit of movement out of that left arm, you know, when you're doing this. You should try to visualize the um the left arm doing exactly what the right arm's doing. Well actually not exactly the opposite to what the right arm's doing, but you get the game. That's great. Well done, Kate. Thank you. Amber, do you want a shot at this? Uh, well, I don't went very far. I Nice, Amber. It's really nice.
Yes. Well done, Amber. That's great. All right. Good. Well, good. More stable. Yeah, good very job. stable. I mean, the, the stability was great. You were just focused it's on the club. Better. Getting better. Yeah. Yeah. In your meal. Great. Luke, do you do the rotating pendulums? That's it. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good, Luke. <laughs> yes. Make sure you go through that six o'clock position. That's it. Nice. Two more. I threw six o'clock with this left arm. Yes. One more. Well done, Luke. Well done. Pass over to uh, Kelsey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was uh, taking my whatever I was doing. Yeah. You best add, it's a bit cold there, isn't it? <laughs> you don't even know what time it is. <laughs> I think your wife has a better understanding of Paramite versus Celsius. What is 60 Fahrenheit and Celsius? That's a good question. I have no idea. About two and a half meters. <laughs> What's the freezing point in Fahrenheit? Is it, is it minus 12, something like that? Yeah, 16, right. apparently. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's strange, isn't it? Yeah. Nice tank. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rotation, great stability. It's all that walking you've been doing. I tell you, I've been walking everywhere. Sam, Sam's been walking me everywhere. I feel like it's... I'm, I'm, I'm getting... And what style of walking have you been doing? Been walking like a waiter? Trying not to. Um, I'm trying to walk like a pretty, pretty princess. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You, you got to turn it. That's what we wanted. <laughs> yeah, how good. Right then, Tom. Don't forget about Tom. <laughs> <laughs> nice, mate. Mm Get more of that thoracic rotation. How, how often do you use the uh, the yoga wheel, mate? Uh, just a little bit every day. Yeah, man, I would de definitely daily is, is what you want. I mean, and if that's all right, mate, you can pause on that now if that's a good effort. And do you try to get into the crab using the wheel on the wall? Uh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm not anywhere close. Yeah, but that, that doesn't matter. The key thing is, is if it's engaging with, you know, uh, other regions of the body and they've got a sort of a, a purpose, if you will, you know, you're giving it that reason to move and, you know, rather than just passively stretching it out, which your neurology doesn't really understand, if you can give it a movement objective, where something's got to stabilize, something's got to move, you know, it, you, you'll, you'll be far more progressive. I walk my hands down the wall. Yeah, exactly, mate. That's exactly where I started. 
you know, and it is a really progressive movement. I, I can get something now that, that looks like a crab, especially if I use the the, the wall. Um, but when, when I first started, you know, it, I would I look more like a coffee table than a crab. Like, it was, uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, right, that's, <laughs> I haven't forgotten anyone, have I? <laughs> no? ITO? Oh. Another, another great session, guys. Hey. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see you on Wednesday oh, yeah. when uh, oh, like Crispin should be doing half kneeling to standing. But as you know, it's uh, uh -huh. more Crispin's choice, I see, than anything else. So I will, uh, I will see you all then. See you Wednesday. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm um, just Thank a you. quick one while everyone's on. Is Gary still on? Yeah. Gary would come up with the uh, a great idea for oh he's not oh he is still on yeah for yeah. movement project t-shirts. Um okay. we can have our suggestions in, but a good starter for 10 from um from Gary. Not that anyone other than the Brits will know what a starter for 10 is. Um is the banner from the brain injury rehab. And then with uh, a movement project, uh, left breast, either just the movement project or maybe even an icon there. And our ever-dependable graphic designer, Amber Blakesley, will be able to put together a masterpiece, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have Not a think if anyone's got any ideas. Send me a little <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, we'll will do. Also have a resident artist in Jules too. Perfect. Yeah, of course. Yeah, really. That'd be interesting, Jules. Yeah, she wanna... can illustrate really, really good. So there's a there's a challenge for everyone. And that's all Neil okay. looks great, Gary, by the way. Right. I'm uh, I'm off. That's it. Thank Probably you. Have stuck at the end of Coronation Street, but there you go. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Have a good day. Last one's to